Okay guys, welcome back. It's going to be a quick uh, video regarding how to set up Media Browser 2.6.2 .2 to get this on your screen. Like this, like this, and this type of uh, in-frame data, details, cast, cross-referencing people who are in other movies, details, so on. Okay, so anyway, right now we're using the uh, Subdued theme plugin for this media browser. No longer are plugins supported or offered on media browser. And I will just cover this really quick so you don't end up get, getting into a rut if you download this and try to make it look like what I got going on here. So uh, go to media browser, configurator. Now, when you install Media Browser, this is going to be empty, okay? You're going to have all your movies and all your hard drives. The first thing you're going to want to do with Media Browser is add your collection and add images to each of the collections, like so. So these are DVDs, these are Blu-rays. I got these images off the internet. Uh, you can fool around with the size of the image and see how it fits in the Media Browser. I found this size image right here works pretty good. Uh, so on, like that. And while this is loaded, we're just going to load up Media Browser and show you that these images are on the start. So let's load up real quick, and you're going to see these images. See how they're laid out here? This is the directories all laid out at the first screen. So you can have like 15, whatever. Okay. This is where you change it right in this information. Podcasts, I don't even defaulted plugins. These plugins, you're gonna have no plugins in this media browser when you first install it. Uh, if you try to add more plugins and you look, there's not gonna be anything listed because no longer is plugins supported with the old software. Because now they have a new thing called media browser where it's a server side and client side. So I'm going to show you how to get this plugin installed, even though it's not included anymore online. I'm going to give you a copy of this plugin so that you guys are set to go when you're using this, this uh, media browser, 262. Under display playback, you're going to see this. This is what's checked. This theme is going to be default, okay? Black, default, or it might be default, default, default. Don't worry about this setting for now because we're going to force it to change later. Media data. Uh, I have this unchecked. So this stuff does not mean anything. If you check this, do you remember the other video called Media Center Master where you pulled the XML data? This will overtake this. And then you'll end up with covers and images that you don't want. This allows you to select your images for your covers and your backdrops. This does not, okay? So I leave this unchecked. Let's go to advanced. Advanced is going to give you a couple extra tabs right here. Media data. Leave this unchecked like shown. Parental control, who cares? Extenders. Uh, An ISO. I don't have this enabled, but I'm sure you can use Damien tools to mount your ISOs. Or you could use the SliceOff virtual ROM. Select it here. And if you want to do ISO images right out of your, uh, 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 call it, right off your Blu-ray. But just be a note that Media Media Player HC64 doesn't support Blu-ray menus that menus that well. Neither does VLC. So most guys who are into this type of setup will just get the movie, forget all the extra trailers and credits and crap, and just insert the movie. So if you want menus and stuff, forget this interface. Okay. Uh, external players, you're going to add your external player, press the add button, select MPC, okay, or VLC or whatever you want, okay, cancel, let's click on this, this is the one I added, there's the path to my MPC right here, it loads in that program files where I installed it, you select the format you want to play, DVD, you get the idea, M2TS is Blu-ray, and so on okay these are checked minimize these are who are checked right here and this is set up like this press okay 
every time I launch this media browser right here press the button let's load a movie real quick I push the play button it'll automatically launch MPC full screen and this will shrink down and disappear so it looks really nice when you know when you got it all set up and that's pretty much it so now that we're done this setup and everything we can shut this off let's take you to downloading installing MPC shutting it off as a service and installing the plugin so let's get at her okay so we're gonna go here um, let's take you to Google I'm gonna take you to my server I'm gonna post a link in the description for you guys uh, okay this is where this is one place you can get media browser 2.6.2 .2, just so you know pull it up right now we'll show you press that go to downloads and you can download it right here or you can download on my media fire server let me get the link for you Uh, right there. What I've done is I've zipped the media browser and the plugin together into one file. Let me get you the link. Uh, share. This is the link right here. I'll copy this into the uh, into the description on the YouTube there below the video. So if I'm going to click here and go paste. This is what you're going to get when you you go to the link. You press the green tab. Sometimes a little uh, anti-spam thing will come up a window where you got to type in, you know, the text to show up in the box and then press OK and then it'll take you to this screen. Press this, it'll download, okay? And you install it. Install the media browser first, .msi. And then you're going to press Control, Shift, Escape on your keyboard. It's going to start running as a Windows service. So once you load it up the first time, you're going to run it. Click on the logo to run it and then shut it off and then you're, it's going to load a service and stay in the background called media browser service and you're going to see it right here okay you're going to click that and then you're going to press end process this is important so you end it okay it's going to shut it off we know that it's not running in the background now so now what you're going to do is you're going to go over here and we're going to go find our uh, our C drive our program data and look for media browser and then we're going to go to P these are all the actors by the way just so you know this is where they're stored uh, we're going to go P and go look for plugins you're going to click on this and the only thing you're going to see is this folder when you first run the program called configurations these files are not going to be there so what we want to do is to prevent the program from getting confused you're going to want to rename the plugins folder plugins.old right here with sub do plugin you're gonna take this folder once you unrar it and you're gonna copy all this crap or just copy this just copy this right here copy and then go over to your C drive your uh, program data media browser plug now remember plugins is gonna be called plugins old and paste it in here plugins okay and then you're gonna end up with this uh, plugins you're gonna end up with this this is what it's gonna look like when you're done okay when you're done that I've set all the configurations for you in here automatically so you guys don't have to do anything but just load it up like this go to media browser load it up now what you're gonna see when you first install media browser and load it up this is what you're gonna see okay just so you don't get don't start panicking or anything this is gonna be set to default okay this is what you're gonna get you're gonna get nothing on the screen but a gray box and whatever icons you chose in the media browser configurator this is what you're gonna see okay this is looks like crap well I'm just to be honest anyway you want to make it look good so what you're gonna do is press the wrench go to theme options once you've done the plugin <laughs> select select subdued press continue 
this is what you're going to get. Doesn't that look more beautiful? So when you click on a logo or you click on something like a movie, you press cast, you got these beautiful pictures, you press details, you got uh, in, in, information and an overview, name of the movie, what's going on. You can cross-reference cast. So say this guy here, press his name. It'll look for his name and all the movies he's in on your hard drive. Cross-reference him. You can go in and out of movies back and forth seamlessly. Let's go back here. Now, let's talk about... Uh, I already showed you how to get all this XML data. Um, let's, pull out a, let's pull out a movie that's... Uh, we know the overview will show up. So let's go uh, documentaries, African cats. Let's pull out the XML, edit, and sh see what we got here. So according to this, see how it says description? And then it's got end of description. And it's got this in between here. That should apply, show up in the description tab. So if I go over to media, browser load it up and I go to documentaries and I go to my African cats you see this how this appears this format so all you would do is simply take this text file there it is you would just copy this file okay we actually have another file there uh, the JSON file you would just copy this file edit it Change the title here to whatever you've got for your sh your series or your show. Uh, you can IBD rate in 7.5. That's the stars. Change the year of the thing. Uh, the date really doesn't matter. Uh, the IMBD is the database number. You can get rid of all these producers and crap. You don't need that. And by the way, when you see name this like here. That's referenced in those actor files in the, you know, where the plugins directory is. That's, it goes into there and it searches for the pictures. But this is the important thing. You just change this to whatever you want. So let's, let's, let's run, this has a little bit of fun here. Let's go lion and then write test, okay? I'm going to save this as it is. Let's go have some fun. Let's go load up uh, media browser, which is loaded. Let's go to cast. Let's go to overview. Let's go to refresh. Look at that. See how it says the word test at the end of the of the, of the message? This is what I mean by messing with it. So you can get a framework for an XML file and change it to say whatever you want. So let's take that out. Let's save it. Go back here. Refresh it. It'll be gone. See? It's gone. So each of these uh, XML codes, you could change the rating of the file. So this is G. We could go over here. Uh, I believe you could look for rating. There should be a rating somewhere around here. There it is, G. So I could go change this to R, rated R. <laughs> Save it. Go over here, refresh it. See, now it's rated R. <laughs> you get the idea. Okay, so anyway, you can play around with the files however you want. You can change the star rating. Um, that's this here, the stars. Change the hour, the minutes, uh, the actual uh, search in based upon search, search bars. So let's change that back to G because that's not an R rated movie. G. Save. I just want to show you how this program works, okay? So you can manipulate. There you go. It's back to G. Uh, these here, documentary, press it. It loads all the documentaries. Okay? Some don't have covers yet. I'm not too worried about that. Press the back key. Go to family. It'll load all the movies with the family tag. Like this, okay? Go back. And then we can go Adventure. Now it loads all the movies with Adventure. Now when you, like I said, when you install the plugin and you do what I showed you, go here, Theme Options, Subdued, you're going to see exactly what I see. Now, 
in the configuration that you copied into the plugins folder, these are already going to be set, okay, all these options. But just in case you need to know, I'm going to show you them anyway. And you can uh, pause this video and go back through it. Okay, so the first thing is general. You're going to take the check mark out of this. This is important. Take the check mark out and put check mark and save locally and take the check mark out of checker for updates. No longer does Media Browser support this software. They are now moving on to Media Browser 3. So there's not going to be any more updates for the software. But it works perfect. So there's no need to update it. Uh, and this is important. You check, uncheck this and check this. Okay. Check login. Shut the screensaver off. These are what I have checked here. Let's go to Media Options. This is what I have checked here. Okay, if I go too fast, you can pause it and go back under theme options. These are my settings. See how these are, these are important. Subdued, black, default. The rest of this stuff are all my settings. Some of these have been changed. Okay, so observe that. Parental controls, set off. Subdued general is the plugin. These are the plugin settings that are set for my plugin. Okay. Subdued cover wall. And these are the settings. These are my directory listings. These are all checked. And the last one, subdued views. Okay. So this is what you got. Press continue. Let's go back to our uh, menu. Now we're going to take you through the settings in the menu. And then we're going to end this video. These are the beginning icons that show up. Uh, that you selected in what I showed you earlier, the Media Browser Configurator. You can add as many as you want for the directories for your movie. So this this will pull up directory 1, 2, 3, 4, or drive A, D, E, F, whatever. Or you can have, uh, you know, external USB drives listed here. What we want to do now is you want to press on this button here. This menu can be changed. So let's go to view style. These are what you have options. I have it set to poster. You can change it to cover flow to look like that. Detail to look like that. Poster to look like that, which is I got. Or thumb to look like that. Or thumb strip. Okay. I have it at poster. Let's close that. Let's show you the layout options. View options. You can use this to wrap these images in here, or you can have them scroll forever, back and forth. You could change the thumb size. See how big they're getting or how small they're getting? Close. You could change the, you could do live layout and control this uh, live with your keyboard keys. So page up and down. Or you could just press the uh, uh, I think it's the back key to exit out. You can lock the configuration so nobody can change it. So let's go to the first step and let's show you what, what options are here. In here, same thing. Press on this here. View style. Let's see what we have. The lines are set to thumb. Let's go cover flow. You can have this type of view. You can have detail. This type of view. Poster. This type of view. Thumb, which is the one I use, this type of view, or thumb strip, this type of view. So it's totally up to you how you want to set up your uh, your desktop. You don't have to use my settings, but I find that my settings look nice. Under view options, same thing. You can change the thumb size of the pictures. Make it bigger, three, or you can make it smaller, one, two, three. I like this size. Uh, sort by. You can sort the movies by name, date, rating, unplayed, runtime, year. Group by, actor. And uh, you can do the live layout and adjust it with the, the uh, page up and down keys. Okay, next one. Let's click in here. Now, I don't think... You could change this, but let's see if we can. Nope, we can't change that. So this is the default view of the of actually when you click in the movie, this is what you're going to see. This cannot be changed or resized. It's going to show the picture of the movie, 
the J the this picture here is uh, let's take this down here is this here folder.jpg will always be this picture right here okay these backdrops will be listed backdrop 1 backdrop 2 3 4 5 10 15 whatever you want how many you want will change every couple seconds in the background right here Uh, yep, with the screenshot, yep. Okay. Oh, let's go back here. You guys won't see that full screen. You'll see a black screen. Okay, so this is what we got here. If the text doesn't fit in here, it'll scroll up and down. You're casting your crew. And these images are stored in that, where the plugin folder is, that directory. Uh, in program data slash media browser they're located there so if you need to back up your media browser data this is the folder you want to back up you want to back up that media browser program data folder that is the most important folder you can back up and then back up your movies and the XML data will automatically be in the movie folders so if you back up your movies you're gonna back up the pictures and everything and then you're going to be good to go if you have a system crash or a Windows crash, right? But if you have a Windows crash, it's important that you back up the program data slash media browser folder. And then just, just paste it over top of the existing media browser folder if you've got to restore your computer on a backup. So there you go, guys. So I hope this, is, uh, this will help you guys out. This only works with Windows 7s uh, with... Uh, .NET 3 or greater installed. You can get that off of Microsoft. And the Media Browser, like I said, is version 2.6.2. Um, you can get off my server, which is all included, or you can download it manually, but you're never going to find any plugins online. Uh, if you do, please, please post a comment below the video and tell me where you can get more, because I can't find any more support for any new plugins. So I got the best plugin, and... I'm hoping that you guys like it and you can use it and set up your system. Or say you're a guy that has a computer crash and you're looking for this stuff and you can't find it on the net. Well, this will help you out So, and uh, get you going. So what we've done so far is we've taken a Blu-ray movie off of a disc, extracted it, found the correct playlist, pulled the four subtitles, the Dolby Digital Track. We put it on the computer. You set up MPC, your compression tools, your codecs, all the way to shaders. And now we've done XML data, pulling it off of the uh, server. And now we've shown you how to set up the interface for a media browser. So I'm hoping that all this information, guys, you know, helps you guys out set up a home theater PC in your living room. Uh, like you could use sit on a couch with a wireless keyboard and mouse, hook it into your big screen television and sit back and relax and enjoy your movies. So thank you for watching Home Theater, Home Theater 101. Please subscribe, leave a comment, and you guys have a good night.